meeting is being recorded. Greetings, esteemed artists, musicians, poets, painters, photographers, social champions, and climate and environmental leaders. My name is Jessica Lee, and I am a member of Yongo, which is the Children and Youth Constituency of UNFCCC. We welcome you to the Virtual Festival of Arts. We look forward to an amazing day of artful and insightful highlights and features as we touch upon the merits of arts and passions for arts through different mediums of expressions. A brief introduction about myself. As the founder of the Climate Education Service Project, I aim to incorporate climate education and literacy while championing community response and preparedness initiatives. I also champion taking climate, environmental, and oceanic actions at the local, regional, national, and international levels. I am a trained climate reality leader with experiences working at the intergenerational and intersectional approach. I aim to empower community members, especially youth and young adults, to strengthen community building by bringing their talents, knowledge, eagerness to learn and potential to work for a sustainable future. My experiences working with youth and young adults aim to effectively create bonding and trust, which are essential in maintaining cohesion, effective communication, and streamlined operations with an intergenerational approach. For example, I co-facilitated a citywide youth empowerment event in partnership with program coordinators from the government department. I have helped to organize and instruct leadership training, attended meetings, and guided students to meet officials at City Hall. As the chair of Climate Reality Project Bay Area Chapters Young Adults Team, I have successfully hosted a webinar on extreme heat and public health, where we received wide support for the educational purposes the webinar had. I also plan a neighborhood cleanup event in September, focusing on community building and keeping the city clean, safe, and livable. I'm also a member of San Francisco's Heat and Air Quality Resilience Project, which is an initiative managed by the Department of Public Health, working specifically in community response to extreme heat temperature. As an ambassador for Unite 2030, lead of Cohort 7 Youth Delegate Program, lead ambassador of, of International Youth Conference, chief of staff of the UNA USA National Intergenerational Model, United Nations, and the Focal Points Group, co-chair of World Food Forum's Youth Action Track, I amplify the values of education, community service, equitable youth representation, and participation, as well as social advancement to empower and generate insightful discussions and meaningful actions. As we highlight all 17 SDGs, including SDG 13, Climate Action, SDG 3, Good Health and Wellbeing, SDG 11, Sustainable Cities and Communities, and SDG 17, Partnerships for the Goals. Next, please allow me to introduce our event agenda for the day. We proceed with our winners from the Virtual Festival of Arts to highlight their artworks and inspirations. For example, what climate actions do their artworks entail? What inspired them to make the artworks? And what message do they have for equitable youth representation and participation through different artistic mediums in the climatic, environmental, and oceanic spaces? We love to engage with our attendees. Therefore, we love to learn about your artworks and inspirations. You can share on the chat throughout the festival and you may share with us during this section of the event. And as we move forward with our winners, highlighting their artworks and their inspirations, there will be time for engagements with the participants at the end. And lastly, we have the wonderfully talented musician, Rain Stern, to close the festival. And if she is not present, 
then we will actually have a video from her to show to the participants here. Without further ado, now please let me turn the floor to our winners. As I know that some of our winners are still trying to make their way to the festival. And I will now turn the floor to our winner, Ms. Sainav Manikandan, or Mr. Sainav Manikandan. I see that you're here. Hi, sir. Hi. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. How about you? Good, thank you so much. And it's actually my first time meeting the winners and seeing them in person, so I'm really excited. And this is such a great opportunity for all of us to engage in this space here. And Sainav studies in grade 10 at GMS GEMS United Indian School. Yeah. Sainav is an aspiring environmentalist and an active member of the Emirates Environmental Group EEG and Master New for Sustainability, Tunza Eco Generation, Students for the Earth SFE, Drop It Youth DIY Ambassador with the main aim of raising awareness about single use plastic pollution and encouraging individuals and organizations to reduce their carbon dioxide emissions through simple everyday choices. Sainab is also an award winner for many initiatives. He is the winner of the Virtual Festival of Arts Contest under the Photography Painting category. I now pass the floor to Sainab. Hello to everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. And uh, as you already know by now, my name is Saina, and I study in grade 10. And it's no fact that it's no a hidden fact anymore that our, our environment is under distress. But And tackling climate change requires considerable effects by it's essential for us to strengthen both formal and informal education on climate change and viable lifestyles. In addition, sustainable production and consumption patterns must be promoted and youth supported as environmental champions in the local communities. Partnerships should also be made between developed uh, like develop partnerships should also be developed between like governments, intergovernmental, non-governmental, and youth organizations for both joint environmental initiatives, which is aimed at building the capacity of youth as future leaders and driving forces behind the new climate change regime. So considerable efforts are also uh, needed in strengthening the adaptive capability and resilience of youth in both rural and developing countries. So here I've used the medium of art to demonstrate my vision of environment at present. Uh, one second, uh, could you be able to like showcase the art that I submitted? At the current, I don't have enough bandwidth to be able to do that. Okay, and sign up, is it the submission that you submitted to us? Yeah. I will be pulling that up and sharing that. Yeah, okay, great. Thank you, yes. Just a minute. So I've used the medium of art to be able to demonstrate my vision of environment at present on the right side and in the future and in the future on the left side of the artwork. So the extensive use of renewable energy 
to introduce it of wind turbines, solar panels, uh, sustainable transportation, and planting seed, uh, planting seedlings around it to provide clean energy and to be able to reduce our car uh, carbon emissions and carbon footprints. Educating minds will surely make an impact towards preserving the Earth's resources for the future. So we just need to take one step at a time to save and heal our planet. Raising environmental awareness is important and crucial, not only for the present, but also for our future. So people of all ages are required to understand the present danger that the world is facing. All of us should take a step forward and rethink, reuse, reduce, and recycle. It is our prime responsibility to be able to take care of our Mother Earth. We, as global citizens, must showcase the vital transformation to safeguard our planet by following the six R's, planting saplings, using renewable sources of energy, and transform our day-to-day -day activities from great to great, and move towards sustainability. We need to engage the youth of today to protect the planet of tomorrow. Let's help heal the environment and love the planet. Thank you. Thank you so much, Umar. It's such a wonderful, wonderful time seeing you here. And also thank you so much to Saina for sharing your inspirations with us and also for sharing your artwork with us. And now I would like to turn the floor to our next winner, who is Nanak Ebrante. And Nanak, who actually goes by Nana Kofi Anim, is a speaker, poet, youth mentor, author, a spoken word artist, and a young innovator making an impact with his gifts and talents. He uses his craft to reach out to a wide range of audience in his space of influence and beyond. Nanak is the founder and executive president for Awesome Thinkers Network International, a youth network that focuses on youth empowerment and the unleashing of great potential, He's a multiple winner of the Ashisi Design Lab Future Learning Hackathon 2020, a finalist for both Unleash Hacks Ghana 2020 and UNICEF Generation Unlimited 2019. He was also the campus ambassador for IMUN 2021. As a youth in capacity building and design thinking, he organizes and hosts conferences and outreach projects with his team to help unleash the potential of over 5,000 young people. Nanak has performed on stages like Youth Connect Africa Summit, SDG 16 National Youth Dialogue, Power to Youth Dialogue Session with Ms. Auna Ezekonwa and GYIA Hack, among others. He has four books to his credit, of which two are published, In Your Hands and The Thriving Ladder. Nanak is always looking for ways in touching the hearts and minds of young people. He is the winner of the Virtual Festival of Arts Contest under the Poetry category. I now pass the floor to Nanak. Good morning to you all. Thank you, Jessica. And I believe you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you very well. Thank you, Nanak. OK. Well, I'm very ecstatic to be. Thank you for all the team, uh, Venus, for joining in as well, and all the audience. Uh, I want to begin by sharing my piece, and uh, then we'll take it from there. Nature suggests to us that man will always ask for water to quench his thirst before asking for palm wine. A wise man once said, when all the rivers are dried up and all the trees are cut down, man will one day wake up and realize that he will not be able to eat money. Who will make these honey when there is no trees, no bees? How are we going to inhale the cool breeze without trees? How are we going to get medicine without trees? How are we going to get food to eat? Mother Nature is screaming and crying. Don't close your eyes to her bleed. Don't close your ears to her cries. Mother Nature needs to be protected from those who don't want to see her beauty. Wait, let us not only protect the environment, but let's create an awesome environment that needs no protection. Can you feel the heat? 
are we ready to dance to the beat? This is not the time to feast, destroying the environment, starving the beast. <sighs> what a man without trees. Do we want to seize the breeze? Oh, we can't breathe. Mother nature is bleeding, pleading, clothing injury. Our actions are leading her astray. What a misery. Do we want this to be recorded in history? It's a threat to humanity. She receives the blows. We are spoiling her rules. Man has a rule. Let's reflect so that one day we don't regret the threat. We are nectaring, cuddling. Instead of isolating, we are risking the lives of our future generation for money to satisfy the economy. Folding our arms and talking about climate change won't solve the puzzle. Are we ready to receive the puzzle of our actions? Caution, it's a global warming. Warning, when nature raises an eyebrow, it doesn't matter your crown, but you will go down unless the right measures are put in place now to make mother nature stay calm. Our environment is the lungs of the earth, polluting the air, water, and deteriorating the land will be a threat. Climate change doesn't know any political affiliation, religion, sex, race, or any country of origination. Are we ready to connect the dots, to dot the eyes and to cross the T's? Speak up. Speaker for Mother Nature, she didn't sign up for this, to be bullied by a creature, intentionally destroying our environment and procuring resources to solve it, solve it won't make us progress, but to progress. Climate change is not all about changes in weather, but our behavior. Fighting climate change is not an event, but a lifestyle. Mother Nature didn't harbor us to cause her trouble. If we don't act early, this will be a constant struggle. Mother Nature is still bleeding. It's abnormal because it is not the time of the month for her to pay her dues. This is a breaking news. Leading the headlines, don't undermine or treat it as a sideline. If you only think about getting the money in our pockets, one day, the route of mother nature will keep us in our closed doors, in our locket. Let's connect and effect change. How? Encourage a greener community to improve biodiversity now. We shouldn't be distracted by the time. Leaders, it's high time to blow their whistle. Prrr, mother nature is calling. Phone ringing. Prrr, let's treat it with a sense of agency in order to provide solutions to tackle climate emergency. If we continue to watch her bleed, there is no way we can stand her vengeance. You and I have one more chance to erase this negligence and to make things right and relieve mother nature of her plight. She bleeds. Thank you. That is the title of the poem, She Bleeds. Thank you so much, Nanak. And would you like to, yes, uh, to share with us about what has inspired you to make this piece and then also how uh, we can actually utilize poetry to show our love and passion and also our perspectives on climate? Sure. Yeah, uh, well, I said nature is a beautiful thing from God and it's uh, it saddens me to see that it's been ruined by our actions each and every day. And uh, the inspiration and concept of this piece was birthed uh, as a result of how trees are uh, being cut down. Anyhow, like in Ghana, we are really battling with uh, illegal mining, that is Galamse, especially the regional water bodies. Uh, leave another coming water. So these activities tend to have the climate and I think it's necessary for me to add my voice to the team. That is, uh, that is uh, echoes of the earth and uh, it seeks to also empathize with Mother Nature that she is not alone in this fight. So I, I, as an as I my piece or my craft in that whatever you know they have on the inside, we can work collectively to push the agenda on climate and also to see that uh, we all, as young people, especially gifted and talented persons, would speak for Mother Nature and also uh, make sure the climate is also as it's good as it can. Thank you so much, Nanak. And we would love to engage with you and also with SINAP later throughout the whole festival. And now thank I would you. like to thank you so much. Thank you so much. And now I would like to turn to our next winner, who is Manjali. And Manjali, 
is a designer. Oh, actually, Manjali is a designer in the sense that uh, Manjali is the winner of the virtual festival of art contest under the music category. And so Manjali composes music and the beautiful voice comes through which Manjali can express the love and passion and also the inspiration and perspective for climate and all other uh, topics through music. And Manjali is an assistant professor. Uh, Manjali's hobbies are to read storybooks and to listen to music. So I can see that music is a big part in Manjali's lives. And so now I would like to pass the floor to Manjali. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. It's a privilege and honor to be a part of this beautiful event. And uh, basically, uh, ma'am, I love to express anything through music. So uh, when I came to know about this event, that uh, this uh, organization is going uh, to organize something uh, which can be uh, for contributing for our planet Earth. So immediately I had this song in my mind. So uh, this song depicts that uh, everyone, each one of us, through our little, little contributions can, uh, can actually save our mother earth or mother nature. So uh, if every one of us takes this opportunity to plant a sapling, every one of us, then through this little contribution only, we can actually make it into the uh, bigger part, which is uh, we can save our mother nature. And uh, what better than, uh, than to perform through music? So yes, that's, all. That, that's about the song. And uh, yes, basically, uh, this is what the song depicted. And uh, yes, that's all I would like to speak. And uh, moreover, moreover, uh, this initiative which was taken hello, uh, which hello. is being taken i think uh, this is a very good initiative and uh, through uh, the various artworks and even through music also so yes uh, so it's a very good uh, initiative and uh, yes that's all ma'am i would like to speak and Manjali, thank you so much. And I would just like to ask if you would like to perform here or if you would like to pass the opportunity now, but you would like to engage with us even more further with our participants after the event. Yes, ma'am. I would like to uh, sing a few lines from the song, which I have sung. Yes, so, thank you so yes, much. Thank you. Yes, we're glad to have you. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, this is basically a, a, an Indian song. Uh, this is a Hindi song. So I would be singing in that language. Uh, so uh, will that be okay, ma'am? Yes, the sound is very good. Thank you, Manjani. Okay, ma'am. Okay, perfect. के दिया बाती हजारों रोशनी घुले घुले जाए हवा में चाशनी है सेवा का जुनून क्या छोटा क्या बड़ा कुछ कर गुजरने का फितूर जब चढ़ा एक सोच है जागी जागी धरती Jagi, 
जाए प्रकृति के लिए एक दिया बाती हजारों रोशनी घुल घुल जाए हवा में चाशनी ऐसे वापा जुनो क्या छोटा क्या बड़ा कुछ कर गुजरने का बेतोर जब चढ़ा थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you, Manjali. Yes, I see that Kevin is actually, you know, giving you a round of applause, and so are so many of us too. Please give a round of applause to Manjali. Thank you so much for your wonderful voice and also for singing to us in your native language. And it is a very special song to of to all of us because it might be our first time hearing the song. Would you be able to explain a little bit more about the lyrics? And did you actually come up with the lyrics yourself too? And what inspired you? Uh, so at that moment to actually compose the entire song? Yes, sure, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, actually, uh, the the lyrics of this song is not uh, by me. Uh, it's actually. Uh, Sung by a very uh, famous artist in uh, India from from India. He hails from India. Uh, so basically, ma'am, uh, the lyrics of the song uh, starts with uh, this this uh, this thing that if we want something, if we want to achieve something, uh, then we can definitely achieve it through our little baby steps. So. uh it is not that you need to contribute on a very large scale to bring about a bigger difference but yes even through smaller contributions also we can make uh, this mother earth a very better place to stay so this is the moral of the song ma'am this is what the song depicts Wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much for dedicating the song to Mother Earth. And it's so great to see uh, us to sing songs that have been composed by other artists. Then that means we do have an inspiration yeah. coming from other artists. And this is how knowledge sharing and this is how creation is about to be shared and is going to be shared. And thank you so much for letting us know of that aspect and also helping us to understand how important music is to climate actions, whether this is singing and also disseminating through music and also do the different tones that we have, especially in our native language. We are the messengers of our native cultures. And I want to thank you so much for singing in your native language here and Myself, I am very inspired by the song and also by your beautiful voice. And I would love to engage with you throughout the whole session as well as our participants. I hope you will also be able to engage with all of our winners later on. Thank you, Manjali. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. And now I see that Mr. Kevin Oyugi is also here. And as Kevin is still trying to uh, set up the audio, I would like to introduce Kevin. So Kevin is a rapper songwriter and Voltex, Voltex Earth Healing Music infuses heavy rap vocals with sweet catchy choruses collaborating with other disciplines of art such as spoken word poetry and short musical theater performances to create a unique brand of conscious music that transforms community and inspires his audience to take environmental conservation seriously and personally. He is the project coordinator at Nigarasha Youth Center, which is a community-based organization reaching out to less fortunate youths in Mawini slums of Mombasa County and equipping them with the vital basic life skills that they can utilize to earn them a decent living. He is also the founder of Plastic, a young nonprofit environmental organization, which is focused on controlling plastic pollution in Kenya, leveraging advocacy and technology. 
He is the winner of the Virtual Festival of Arts contest under the music category. I now pass the floor to Kelvin. Hello, Jessica, can you hear me? Yes, Kevin, thank you so much. The sound's very wow. beautiful. Yes. Thank you, thank you. We did a lot of work to make sure it is. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so I'll present to you my song. It is called uh, Plastic Litter Pick It. Basically, it talks about uh, ocean plastic pollution uh, because I'm based in Mombasa, Kenya. It's an island and we are surrounded by the ocean and we get a lot of profit from the ocean, you know, in terms of fishing, in terms of recreation activities, and uh, in terms of transport, the ocean really does help us in person. So this song, it was inspired by the way I saw like a uh, majority of our members of our community don't know the value of uh, making sure the oceans are healthy and uh, we have had cases in recent past whereby fishermen are complaining, like uh, they're not getting enough fish from the ocean. And uh, we, we have been getting so many plastic bottles in the fishing nets. And I, I felt like there's a need to educate my community and to create awareness to them, like uh, they should have a proper disposal habits of the waste plastic. So the song is called Plastic Litter Pick It. And uh, as the name suggests, like it, it encourages an individual to dispose their plastic waste responsibly. Okay. Great, thank you so much, Kelvin, for giving us an overview about the production and the song that you're about to perform. Would you be yeah. able to perform? Yes, thank you so much. We see that you're all ready and we are ready as well. Thank okay. you. Okay, so here it goes. Plastic litter, pick it, pick it. Plastic litter, pick it, pick it. Plastic litter, pick it, pick it. To me, chokanazo jo. Plastic killer mali jo. Plastic litter, pick it, pick it. Plastic litter, pick it, pick it. Plastic litter, pick it, pick it. To me, chokanazo jo. Plastic killer mali jo. Plastic, plastic, staki, staki, ata nkwe nataki, ya kukunywa maji, sezi bayaduka juna juwa ntaitupa, kiwi kinikumba, kesho ntakumbuka, kujibebia yangu jo kutoka kwa nyumba, plastic, package, leave it kwa duka, nature ina bandage, na hope jo itakufa, vile ina bleed, na siati ni rumors, mazena wa plead, tuyone uruma, kuna tatwa li dead di na mrija kwa puwa, jumadafu mlikunywa na mrija kwa ufuo, huo, Siungwana jameni uliza mambo mbotela msela Kuna uchafu kwa ocean, viyatu kwa ocean, toothbrush kwa ocean, ni toothbrush kwa ocean, wavuvi kwa ocean, watatua samaki ama hizo plastic litter, pick it, pick it, plastic litter, pick it, pick it, plastic litter, pick it, pick it, tumechoka nazo jo, plastic kila mali jo, plastic litter, pick it, pick it, plastic litter, pick it, pick it, plastic litter, pick it, pick it, tumechoka nazo jo, plastic litter, Kila Mali Jo. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kevin. A round of applause for Kevin as well. Thank you so much. And it's such a great honor to have musicians, poets, photographers, painters to show us their artworks because it's so inspiring. It's one space with all of the amazing people to show us how we can express ourselves and also our climate actions through different mediums. Right now, we are also convening at the festival, talking, but at the same time, we're singing, we're showing people our paintings. And I actually have a submission from Kelvin when there is music, when the beats are there. And so I see that Kelvin is now doing an acoustic version of it. Kevin, would you like me to actually show the submission that you submitted with the beat? Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Great. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Yes. Well, there are so many congratulations. Wow, thank you so much. I would love to show the submission that you have, including the beats. Yeah. Yes, thank you.
So this is the submission that Calvin submitted and that includes music and also includes tones. Just want to say thank you so much, Kevin, for once again showing us your awesome, awesome talent. Thank you. We would love to have you stay and interact with us and tell us more about your musical journey. Thank you, definitely, Kevin. Definitely. Thank you. thank you. Yes. Thank you. And now we would like to turn the floor to Bawa. Bawa, are you here today? So it appears that Bawa may not be here. And so I would still like to introduce Bawa as Bawa is also the winner of the Virtual Festival of Arts. Bawa Arab is a social worker, teacher, and environmentalist with over three years of experience working in the nonprofit sectors, a member of TRCN, Teachers Registration Council of Nigeria, and holds a bachelor's degree in geography education from Nazarawa State University. Bawa Arab is the communications officer for Equal Cycle Limited and proprietor of Nevirun, a company that aims to boost the circular economy, create employment opportunities for youth, and solve the problem of waste through innovative community waste management systems and recycling initiatives. Over the last three years of his active engagement as an activist, Bawa has impacted over 300 youths through various volunteering projects. These include sensitization, climate justice rallies, cleanups, waste recycling training, among others in various schools and communities within Nigeria, specifically in Azawara State and the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Abuja. Bawa is the winner of the Virtual Festival of Arts Contest under the poetry category. And since Abawa is not here at the festival, if you would like to know more about Bawa and Bawa's artworks and inspirations, please reach out to me, Jessica Lee, or you can reach out to Yongo Nature Echoes Working Group at nature at yongoclimate.org. And now I would like to introduce the next winner and Natalie Mongondo. Natalie is also not able to attend the festival, but she actually has submitted the artwork and she would like to show her artwork here. So I would be presenting her artwork as well as the overview about what inspired her to make the artwork. Natalie is a member of Yongo, and Natalie serves as the Youth Fellow in Finance with the United Nations Climate Change High Level Champions Team. She is an economist who brings more than six years of experience in climate change and sustainability in Southern Africa and across various sectors to the world. She is currently pursuing a Master's of Science in Economics from the University of Zimbabwe as a Southern Africa Climate Finance Partnership Master Scholar, where her research centers on incorporating climate resilience into Africa's investments in greenhouse gas mitigation. She is a member of the National Task Force for Carbon Trading for the Government of Zimbabwe. Additionally, she volunteers her time with the Care About Climate NDC Equity Project and the Yonko Finance and Markets Working Group. She is the winner of the Virtual Festival of Arts Contest under the Photography Painting category. Natalie is unable to join us today, but if you would like to know more about Natalie and her artworks and inspirations, please reach out to me, Jessica Lee, or you can reach out to Yongo Nature Echoes Working Group at nature at yongoclimate.org. And now I would like to show her artwork and also provide a little bit of the overview about her artwork.
And here we have the artwork by Natalie. And this is where Natalie is currently is located. And the Earth Day 2022 theme is invest in our planet. The photo was taken And so this is actually one of the photos that Natalie has submitted to the constituency. And this is uh, the photo that she would also like to show the climate and also the environment around her where she's currently located. And so what I'm noticing from the picture is that you can see this is actually a daytime and also the area that we see here, you see the trees and also we see soil, we see land. So this is a really good combination of nature. And this tells me the environment that she's living in, which is really different from the environment that I live in because I live in an urban environment and all I see when I go outside are high rises, uh, skyscrapers, buildings. And if I want to actually go to see some of the sceneries, scenic places, I actually would have to go outside to the outskirts of town. So for example, perhaps like the mountainous, more mountainous areas, and also the waters. Uh, I live by the, the beach. And so uh, it's actually very easy for me to go to the beach. And if I would like to travel to some of the places like Natalie is showing here, I would actually have to travel a great distance. For example, maybe to the central of the state that I'm living in, where, or even to the uh, inlands of the state that I live in, in order to get a feel of the similar environments that Natalie is showing here. And I just wanna thank Natalie here for showing us this picture, because as we can see, even though we come from different parts of the world, the environments are very much interlinked. And so we can see from the trees, the health of the soils and also the health of the trees and the health of the nature can very well tell us how climate change has been impacting us and also how climate change as well as some of the climate, environmental and oceanic impacts have been impacting uh, human beings, wildlife, as well as marine life, life underwater, life above ground, as well as some of our interactions and systems that we have, how much work we have to do, and also how much climate actions we have to take in order to avert or even to mitigate some of the adverse impacts that we are facing now and would be detrimental to our future generations. So this is one of the pictures that Natalie has shown us. And now I would actually like to show the portrait that uh, and also the photography that Natalie has submitted for the virtual festival of art. Just a minute, as I would like to pull up the photography. And as I am pulling Natalie's photography, what uh, inspirations have you gotten from all of our winners here? 
and especially has there been any one piece of, of artwork that has inspired you and has prompted you to actually try to make one yourself or even uh, try to compose a song, uh, try to paint a painting yourself or even try to take photography yourself. What has inspired you so far? As I would like to now turn the floor to our participants. And this is going to be a very engaging session. So I would very much like to give the floor to all of us so that we can actually feel that we are taking the advantage of all of our convening today and, and us coming together and also us showing that we are loving the expressions that we are having here. And also it's, it's not easy to have all of our winners to present to be present and also our participants here. And so I would very much like to now give the floor to all of us to see. Hello everyone, can you hear uh, me? Uh, yes. yes. Um, this is Stanley, I am from IIT and I'm glad to be here. I'm a member of Yango because I am interested of, I'm a climate activist and I can say that, I, that I've been inspired by the poem, if I can say that, that, by the poem of Nanak. I think it's a great way to raise awareness, to make people see the problem and to act to solve the problem. And all, all, all of the participants have great work, and, but I've been more inspired by the poem of Nanak. And I really appreciate that initiative that showcase young talent to raise awareness about world's problem, which is climate change, one of the biggest problems that we are facing now. And I congratulate the, all the participants who are winners of this contest, of this, of this uh, initiative. And I would like to encourage them to make more artworks that can show, uh, that can teach people, that can raise awareness about any kind of issues that we may face in the 21st century. Thank you for allowing me to speak. Thank you so much, Stanley. Thank you for your inspirational words and encouragement to all of our winners. Thank you. And I do see that there are so many words of appreciation for you in the chat room as well. And so here I would like to add one more piece of our winner's artwork. And that is, oh, Kevin. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. And uh, I just wanted you to know that uh, and the rest of the members of Yango that I'm working on an album and it is called Trash Talk. And basically, the whole album conveys ocean science uh, artistically in a way that uh, the reports which are being generated by, let's say, the Marine and Fisheries Commission in Kenya, like we're trying to, to convert it in, a, in an artistic way so that the people can really understand because they, they cannot understand the scientific language which they are contained in the report. So. Uh, uh, of 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 uh, in, in recent in recent times we have noticed like uh, we have a problem with turtles conservation in Kenya a lot of turtles are experiencing uh, extinction like the olive ridley turtle because of uh, plastic pollution in the ocean and also uh, uncontrolled uh, fishing methods so uh, I got an inspiration from the story of Christine Figena, who filmed uh, his team removing a, a plastic straw from a nostril of a, of a turtle back in 2015. And I came up with this song, which is called uh, Kobekasa Alidedi Namrija Kwapua, which basically a sea turtle died with a plastic straw in, in its nose. Yeah, so I'd love 
to maybe give you uh, an excerpt from that artwork also so that you can listen to it. Oh, yes, please, Calvin, please. We would love yeah. to hear more. Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you. So the song goes like Kobekasa Lide Dinamrija Kwapua. That's Swahili word for a sea turtle died with a straw in the nostrils. Yeah. So the chorus goes like Kobekasa Lide Dinamrija Kwapua, Kobekasa Lide Dinamrija Kwapua, E Mrija Ina Ua, Mrija Ina Ua, Mrija Ina Ua. That means a, a straw kills. Just uh, just a, a single piece of straw can kill a sea turtle. And uh, the verse goes like, Kobekasa alidish polythene akitani jellyfish, I wish human being wage wacha kupollute kwenye beach, imagine iyo sin, testudines ni extinct kwenye sea or I see, aijalishi, munadhani kobekasa awatusa idi, building DDD, mumejenga mpaka kwenye beach, so kobekasa... <laughs> Yeah, it goes like that. Thank you. Well, I just love it when our artists are actually singing in their native languages because it yeah. tells us that music has no boundary. And we have one of our performers who was singing in, in the Indian native language. And I'm just so excited and inspired by that. Hopefully our performers can actually engage in a collaboration together where we can all sing in our native languages. I am, I would very much like to be a musician, but uh, I want to welcome to, you know, to actually uh, welcome you all to come and do a collaboration with all of us where we can have maybe like a short video, a short collab together. And many of us actually speak multiple languages. It would be so beautiful to highlight the, inspirations that linguistics can have of how to bond, create that bonding and trust in humanity, and also to pull us all in together in climate actions, working towards a more sustainable future. We can add one or two lines and then we can make a beautiful music video. And I see that Kelvin, you have all the equipment, you have everything set up. So we would very much like to get engaged with you as well as all of our performance who have been performing here today, whether this is poetry, uh, photography, painting, we can actually have our poets to write the lyrics and then we can have our photography painters to capture the wonderful moments that we are making, the production. So we have all the talents here and this is how we are able to collaborate, achieve the sustainable development goals, partner with each other and make great pieces of inspirations to climate actions, as well as to inspire all of us to further our commitment to climate goals. Thank you, Kevin, for making that short piece of intervention. Thank you. And now I would very much like to add one more piece of the artwork that some of our winners have been submitting to us. And this is actually by Natalie, who, whom I have been introducing earlier. And so I'm going to share my screen. And so this is the artwork that Natalie has uh, submitted. The Earth Day 2022 theme is invest in our planet. The photo was taken on 35 mm film at the 26th United Climate Change Conference, also known as COP26 in Glasgow. While some saw the event as a cop out, I, uh, so Natalie saw an unprecedented number of non-state parties coming together to invest in our planet. As we go forth towards COP27, we need to increase the ambition and have collaboration between all parties to invest at the scale necessary to save our planet. The medium of this photo is film, which gives it its unique and grainy texture without any editing. It is a nearly long lost form of artistry in this world of over filtering. Similar to much unique nature and biodiversity, which has been lost to our overconsumption and overproduction. The process 
is to take, scan, and produce a film photograph, and one that is time consuming and requires a lot of skill, in direct contrast to the instant gratification of photography that makes up the bulk of that we see today. Natalie chose this medium in particular for those reasons, to give a bird's eye view of the crop process on a format that we see less and less of and highlight how important it is that we preserve and value all the things which make this world and a place in it so unique without compromising the ability of future generations to enjoy them. So this is the piece that Natalie has shared with us. And now I would like to turn the floor to introducing Annika Mattel. So Annika is unable to join us today. And Annika is the winner of the Virtual Festival of Arts contest under the photography painting category. If you would like to know more about Annika and her artworks and inspirations, please reach out to the Yonggo Nature Echoes Working Group at nature at yonggoclimate.org. And you may also reach out to me. And the next winner I, we have is Sayali Queen. Sayali is the winner of the Virtual Festival of Arts Contest under the Photography Painting category. Sayali is also unable to join us today, but if you would like to know more about Sayali and her artworks and inspirations, please reach out to the Yonggo Nature Echoes Working Group at nature at yonggoclimate.org, or you may also reach out to me, Jessica Lee. And now that concludes our introductions and our highlights of the winners virtual for the Virtual Festival of Arts contest. And now since we have so much time left, I would like to turn the floor to some of our participants to see if you would like to share and highlight some of your artworks. And I know we have had an engaging event so far with our winners and also with our participants. This is your moment to shine. This is our moment to shine. <laughs> Seeing that we are very ready to share, but hopefully we can get in touch with each other in the future. And so now if uh, we are okay here, then we would be able to close the session. Alrighty, thank you so much. Thank you. This is going to be the end of our session, but it's not going to be the final final. This is going to be the beginning of our collaboration. And we have many more events to come and we are planning a sequel event to this event. And so if any of our artists, if you would like to get in touch with Yongo and especially on how we can amplify climate actions through arts, please let us know. I will also put our contact in the chat. So in the chat, you see that we have the email for the Yonggo Nature Echoes Working Group. And so the, the working group, the members of the working group has been working tirelessly on making this event possible. And this event is actually a sequel event to the Earth Day, con uh, the Earth Day conference that we had earlier this year and I would very much like to thank my members from the entire Yonggo constituency as well as the Nature Workings, the Nature Echoes Working Group for collaborating and for contributing their time and effort into making these events possible. And now I would like to close with a piece of artwork from the very talented Rain Stern. And Rain, I have met Rain at, at one of the conferences, the Earth X conference in Texas, US, 
uh, back in April. And she actually came to the Earth Day conference, Yonggo Earth Day conference. She is so talented. She makes up the majority, she composes the majority of her music. And she was also a contestant at The Voice of the US. And now I would like to uh, show a piece of her music. And if you would like to get to know her more, uh, you may also reach out to me, Jessica Lee, or you may reach out to uh, Yonggo constituency because we have the contact to contact Rain. And you may also reach out to nature at yonggoclimate.org, or you may actually look up her profile because she is a very active, very talented musician. She also plays many instruments too. So I am sure that many of our performance here, performers here, you will be very interested in collaborating with her as well. I'd like to know, even if it tears me down, which way the wind blows from here. Time and again, you pushed me to the ledge, but I've held on in hope. And now I wonder why, wonder why I've stayed so strong seeing it now. Well, I don't know. What I know now, oh yeah. Would I do it again if I could just hit rewind? Oh, go ahead and ask again this time. I'll tell you what you seem to miss. All this while I was thinking of them, even though you thought that it was a genuine.
So I saw that my button was uh, muted. I just want to check if with all of us to see if uh, the music actually came through or not. It actually came through. OK, that's great. Great, thank you so much. And this is actually going to be the end of our festival. And I just want to make sure that all of us here had a great time together. And it's such a great convening for all of our performers who are able to come and who are able to share and highlight some of our beautiful artworks. And you may actually stay for a couple more minutes for us to meet and greet each other. But if not, then I wish you all a great day and a great weekend. And I hope to collaborate with all of you further. And also please feel free to get in touch with Yongo, the children and youth constituency of UNFCCC on future collaborations, as well as on amplifying climate actions together. Thank you. Have a good day.